What's up everybody? Got some super phenomenal news here. I've been invited by the US Army's Public Affairs Office, like the big Army's Public Affairs Office, to go down to meet with the Sergeant Major of the Army, their marketing team, with other social media Army influencers to discuss various topics around that, to include celebrating the United States Army's birthday this weekend in DC, y'all. Cannot wait to see y'all, hope to see you there. So, it is my first time having some Chick-fil-A. I don't know what the hype is all about, but we're about to find out. <laughs> uh, so, as you are aware, I am in DC, in Washington, DC, yeah? Not too bad. Literally walked in there and I was like, all right, so I've never been here before. Nice lady was walking around with a, a tablet and she was like, you know, taking everyone's order and I was like, I don't know what I should get. And uh, she recommended number one, which is the um, chicken sandwich, I guess. So we'll see what that's all about. It's the deluxe version. So look at that. Not too shabby. Kind of like it. And I got to wash it down with some uh, Dr. Pepper, you know what I mean? Don't get any of that. Um, Mr. Pibb stuff, right? That dude dropped out of college and didn't get a, a doctorate degree, right? Stick with Dr. Pepper, at least he's educated. Oh man, so the unfortunate time has come and we have to shave me beard. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. I've been growing this beard for about two weeks now. That <laughs> kind of looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, this is too funny. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh man. <laughs> Can you even see that? Oh man. Should I keep the stash or what? Let me know. <laughs> so the facial hair be gone now. Back to a basic. I, whatever. It is what it is. Yo, welcome back to yet another video. I'm here in Washington, D.C. about to meet about 12 other social media influencers. So we're about to make this happen. Mm -hmm. You guys can get the other vehicles. Oh. We're in the van here. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to the museum for a private tour. I'll put that pressure on me. Yeah. Arch Dizzle over here. Get Eric oh, Bernie. Yeah. Is that still the name of the channel? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm a major back there. <laughs> we got military fresh right here. Uh, and we're going to get it. I that setup though. I'm recording you to record me. And then mess on call. What's up everybody? Welcome back here to my channel. Welcome to a day in the life of Team Swartz. I'm coming to you by Military Fresh Network. We got Erica Bernie back here, Arch Izzle, Sergeant Major. We got all kinds of big names here. The United States Army brought us out here to celebrate the 247th birthday and all that great and glorious stuff. So uh, welcome to a day in my life.
Here we got, here's the drill. Villarama? Hey. Is that, did I say it right? Yeah, All right. On. They got Erica Barney right here. And Arch Izzle. Who knows? It might be hot. Here we are sunny. watching the master at work. Mask. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear. Yeah. 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 Oh. Some secret content. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Behind, behind. Behind, behind the scenes. Ooh. And you're eating. <laughs> What is up, y'all? I am back in New York, and these are my final thoughts at the end of the first day of our two day trip to the uh, basically the chief of the public affairs office for the United States Army invited us out to their social media influencer event where uh, basically, as you could tell, we got a uh, private tour of the American Museum of the United States Army, which is a phenomenal facility, which I'll cover in a second. But at, in the previous videos prior to this, uh, my final thoughts section of this video or vlog, have you, it, it was abruptly ended because when the TRADOC Command Sergeant Major came on, he basically said that he didn't want the cameras rolling or anything like that so we could have honest dialogue amongst all of us to collaborate and put our minds together on how we could address, discuss, and maybe move forward on various ideas and how we could help the Army's image, branding, so on and so forth, and leveraging our individual efforts through sharing our Army story. So I thought that was pretty interesting. We had pretty interesting conversations. And to say the least, I'm pretty excited with this program. I don't know if I'll be continuing in participating in this, but it was definitely phenomenal for being invited by the chief of the United States Army to bring us all down there for this event. There was 12 of us in total, which obviously I shared some of them uh, throughout the vlog here, but this was a great experience. At the end of our briefing with the TRADOC Command Sergeant Major, he had us line up and he gave us uh, one of their, their coins here. I don't know if you can see that. I thought it was pretty dope, but uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty awesome. <laughs> And Command Sergeant Major, if you ever see this, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for sharing your honest thoughts and opinions on certain things that are going on and everything. Hopefully you took it with you, some of the things that we had to share with you and so on and so forth. And uh, I look forward to the way ahead. Funny story, I received not one of these emails, but I actually received two of these emails. And almost every single one of us out of the 12 influencers that went down there all thought that this was either a generic email or a scam. <laughs> or we didn't think that it was legit. So with that being said, when Mass Sergeant Evans reached out to me, I actually was like, holy crap, what did I do wrong? Because the chief of the United States Army's public affairs office was calling me and I was like, oh, what did I do? Did I post something wrong? Did I say something wrong? What happened? <laughs> anyway, it was a legit email and it was funny that we all felt that way. Originally, I wasn't gonna be able to make it and I actually had to turn her down because I explained to her that I was supposed to be going out back to Little Rock, Arkansas. So if you've been following me for a while, I helped create this virtual recruiting curriculum for the course and all that good stuff. So anyway, I originally turned her down. When that fell through and didn't work out as originally planned, I called her back and I was like, yo, if you can use me, I'm more than happy to come. My plans fell through. I'd love to help you all out. And that's how we ended up there. So yeah, funny story. One of the main reasons why I definitely wanted to attend this is not only do I want to help them with social and collaborating and putting our minds together to help make the army better place, uh, I was dying to meet some of my social media idols that I've been watching for many years now. And it was just gonna be an amazing experience. And as you saw, it was. It was amazing. I don't, I don't know how to put words into it, but I had so much fun. And I, I knew that I was going to be able to meet in person the Sergeant Major of the Army. Uh, more to follow because day two was fire. So stay tuned for the next video following up from this one. So as you saw towards the middle of this video with music, uh, the vlog part of the National Museum of the United States Army, this is by far the best museum I've ever visited, like hands down, I am not kidding, link in the description. If you're ever in DC, definitely put it on your agenda to, to go visit. Uh, I'm telling you, it is the state of the art. Everything is down, to every little detail to the positioning of the building where the sun sets and rises to 
everything is state of the art and it's built different and designed differently. So typically when you go through a museum, you're like sneaking through the entire thing, right? Kind of like a trail, right? Or like if you've ever been to Ikea, it zigzags throughout the entire showroom floor, right? Unlike that, this is set up like storefront. So it's like a really long ha uh, hallway and each uh, storefront for each era of the United States Army's history, right? If, if you can see here on the map, right? So it is set up like this and you go down the hallway and each and every single one of these, you go in and you, you can visit it. And if for some reason you leave the museum, you could come back and you can go right to the exhibits that you did not go in and meet. You don't have to zigzag and find your way to the exhibits or sections of the museum that you missed. So it's very, very awesome and epic. I'm telling you, if, as you saw in the video, right, you got to see like the beads of the sweat, the blood on the uniform, the rips and tears and everything you could think of, every detail was painted on and put on these uniforms to make it as authentic and genuine in that time that soldiers experience in that time frame. Again, this museum is 100% free admission, super kid friendly. That first part that we went into, the uh, experiential learning center has a section for kids that uh, have like these activities and they can help think things through and it was it's an amazing facility. Again, admission is free. The only one to two things that could pot, that do have a possible fee to, the one thing, the Army Action Center, which to me looked like an arcade, but was closed off to us due to repairs, and the uh, Army Theater. That may have a sm small or minimal fee. If it does, I'm telling you, I don't know, I don't really care about the Army Action Center. Again, that looked like an arcade to me. I'm not a kid anymore, and I don't play video games. But with that said, the Army Theater, the screen wraps around you like 75% of the room, right? And it's kind of like, I don't even know how to, I forgot the term that they use, but like you could feel the wind, you could feel the, the chair and the ground rumble and shake or vibrate every time that certain things happen within the video. It, it was just an amazing experience. Uh, and me as a video editor, just looking at how they edited this whole thing that wrapped around the room, like you could go like this inside that theater and it was an amazing immersive experience the only thing that they were missing was like spritz of water that came off the ceiling like this one theater that i went into uh which was like a 4d movie theater maybe that was a term that she was trying to say but it was an amazing theater and if you ever get a chance you have to go witness that film it was only like maybe 10 minutes long give or take but it was an amazing experience please add this to your agenda if you go to Washington DC, it will not disappoint you. And last but not very least, the main reason I took on this opportunity was because I got to meet finally in person some of my social media idols that I've been dying to meet someday or to personally talk to, some very old, some newer ones, and ones that I've never met before, but the GOATs, the greatest of all times, the ones that I was a total fanboy for was Erica Bernie, Arch Izzle, Here's the Drill, Siobhan from Military Fresh Network, Villarama, and Sergeant Major Ogle. These people are by far my most favorite content creators on social media today. And it was so awesome to finally meet them. Uh, so go follow these people. Uh, Erica Bernie used to be a, a former drill sergeant, now working for TRADOT, creating various types of content for Army Basic Training, AIT, Army Life in general. Amazing person, NCO, and she's killing it. And <laughs> one of my diehard favorites on YouTube. So definitely go subscribe to her channel. Now we have Archie Izzle. He was a, a medic of some sorts. He's at, he's active duty. Now he's a career recruiter for the Army Reserve, primarily recruits for active duty. So definitely go check out his channel. He's got a ton of information. So if you're looking to get ready for basic training, want to know what it's like on active duty, so on and so forth, definitely go check out those two for that reason. Military Fresh Network is a company that was designed to showcase the military. First, it was Army Fresh and all that good stuff, but an amazing company, all veteran owned. They support anything and anything, everything and anything military related. Definitely go subscribe to their Instagrams and all that good stuff. They're always supporting veterans. One of my favorites, I do a lot of obviously pre-Army stuff, right? Going through the enlistment process, getting ready for Army basic training, so on and so forth. 
Here's the Drill is one of my more recent favorites because he creates a lot of content on leadership, mentorship, and things of that nature, like updates in the United States Army and making the Army a better place. So anything that's post initial entry training, he's the guy to go for. Sergeant First Class French is an amazing person, amazing NCO and father and husband to his family. Villarama. Villarama is by far my most favorite combat cameraman that I know in the Army. Killing the game, I love his edits. He has some amazing content, go check him out. He, oh man, it was so cool talking to him and he's so down to earth. I mean, everyone that was there was so down to earth and personable, which I appreciated it. Like no one had any egos there. And I just had such a great time. And Sergeant Major Ogle, right? <laughs> I'll show you a clip here when we were at the restaurant, but <laughs> I caught him slipping. What's going on, Instagram? I'm here with my dad. Did you say hi, dad. <laughs> What's up? Give this man a follow, Sergeant Major. All right. I'll see you soon. But yeah, we dressed alike and it was awesome. I called him dad. It was hilarious. But yeah, he's got some awesome content, very inspirational, motivational showing you what right looks like on TikTok and social. Definitely go give him a follow. He's got over a half a million uh, TikTok followers and all that good stuff. But yeah, he is an amazing guy. Very down to earth, non-egotistical. I love him, very humble. Everyone here, like I said, is very humble and have humility. And we are going to do, do and continue to do our best to showcase our army story. And that's why we were there, to share our army story. So more to follow. So with that being said, the reason why I'm doing this here at the house is because I didn't vlog much while I was there. Uh, as you may or may not know, contrary to popular belief, I don't like vlogging in public. I don't like people judging me when I'm talking on camera. I can do it like a champ in my home, in my makeshift studio or in my office when I'm by myself. But you know, we all have to work on things that we're uncomfortable and break out of our comfort zone and work on our weaknesses. But because of our newborn here at the house and having everything chaotic here, this is probably gonna be the way moving forward doing these vlogs. Obviously still delivering value like I always do. But with that being said, like this video if you made it this far into the video. Subscribe if you haven't already because it helps out the algorithm. And I appreciate you being here. You are my real ride or die Team Swords squad member. So drop that hashtag Team Swords down below. Letting me know that you made it to the end of the video. With that being said, stay blessed, be good, dominate your days. Here's the drill likes to say. And I'll see you in the next video. Just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini.